Hello, my name is Kaushik and uh, in this video I will be explaining about the uh, gateway functionality in AutoSAR. So let's get started. Gateway is a feature in which a signal, a signal group or a PDU received by an ECU from one source bus is transmitted over another destination bus. So the gateway of signal, signal group or PDU can be done over two bus communicating over a same or different protocol. The AutoSAR gateway functionality consists of two parts. One is gateway functionality in PDU level which is called the PDU based gateway which is provided by the PDU router module. Um, another is uh, gateway functionality on signal level which is provided by the signal gateway which is internal part of, a com of the com, com module. This image is taken from the AutoSAR document. As we can see here, the signal based gateway is highlighted in the COM module, which means that all gatewaying with respect to signals is taken care at, at this COM level. Uh, in simple terms, consider a CAN message which has three different signals coming from um, sender issue to gateway issue, out of which only a uh, second uh, signal is to be gateway to another issue. Such scenario doesn't require whole CAN message with all three signals to be gateway to the receiver issue. Whereas if, uh, if the complete CAN message with all three signals is to be sent to the receiver issue, then it can be handled at the PDUR level because there is no need of copying only part of the CAN message to another CAN message. Complete CAN message can be gateway as is. So now you might have got some idea on uh, what these two gateway types. Let's discuss them in detail. First, let's discuss about signal gateway. Signal level gateway happens through the COM module in AutoSAR. COM module can gateway a signal or a signal group. The received signal or signal group can be mapped to a single or multiple transmit signal or signal groups. Once a gateway receives a signal or signal group for gatewaying, it immediately acts as a sender of that signal. Uh, let's discuss this in more detail. Consider three issues, a sender, a gateway and a receiver issue. Let's say we want to send a CAN message with one signal of two bytes of data from sender issue to the receiver issue via the gateway issue. Here the sender issue sends the CAN message over CAN channel 1 which is connected to gateway issue. Now the gateway issue receives this CAN message and forwards it to the upper layer and reaches the COM. The gateway issue uh, knows that this CAN signal is to be forwarded to the receiver issue. So it will copy the signal to another CAN message which is going to the receiver issue in CAN channel 2. It can be configured to be sent in any, any ways. Either we can configure to have a separate CAN message from gateway issue to the receiver issue to send the signal or it can be configured in any existing CAN message by reserving two bytes of uh, for this particular signal. The receiver issue will receive this CAN message with the actual signal sent from the sender issue. Please note that we need a gateway issue since there is no direct CAN channel connecting sender and receiver issue. COM gateway is strictly configured with gateway independent on the content of signal or signal group. The configuration of uh, gateway is done as part of COM gateway mapping container. Processing of gateway signal or signal group happens in COM main function route signals function. PDU level gatewaying happens to the PDR module in AutoSAR. During gatewaying, the PDR module acts both as the receiver and the transmitter of the PDU. PDUR receives the PDU from one lower layer module and transmits the PDU to the same or another lower layer module. 
uh, a PDU can be configured to be received in one interface module and gateway to many interface modules. The received PDU can only be gateway to interface modules or TP modules but not both. Gateway PDU may either be gateway direct as a complete PDU which is called as direct gateway or as fragmented PDU where a con configured number of bytes are received before transmission which is called gateway on the fly. Let's discuss them one by one. Uh, direct gateway is very simple. Uh, the PDUR module receives the complete PDU and then forwards it. Consider three ECUs, a, uh, a sender, a gateway and a receiver ECU. Let's say we want to send 8 bytes of data which can be sent over a single CAN message. The sender will send the complete message in, uh, in channel 1 and the gateway ECU will receive it and PDU, uh, PDUR will copy the whole 8 bytes to an internal buffer. Then it will again copy this whole message to another CAN message and then sends over, uh, sends over the channel 2. This can now be received at the receiver issue. This is called direct gateway where the complete message or PDU is received at the PDUR before forwarding it. Now let's discuss about the gateway on the fly. Transmitting the PDU when a configured number of bytes are received without the complete PDU being received is called gateway on the fly. Only one destination module can be configured in case of gateway on the fly. Buffers are available in PDUR for TP gateway. Uh, the transfer of TP data is started before full TP data is buffered. The gateway, the gateway before provide, provides a buffer to the receiving TP module which is smaller than the overall data length. When this buffer is filled, the gateway starts transmitting these data on the destination bus. Consider three issues, a sender, gateway and a receiver issue. Let's say we want to send 16 bytes of data which uh, uses the TP module for transfer. The sender issue will send the first 8 bytes data in the channel 1 and the gateway issue will receive it and the PDUR will copy the whole 8 bytes to an internal buffer. Then the PDUR will again copy this whole message to another CAN message and sends it over the CAN channel 2. The receiver issue now receives the first 8 bytes of data uh, parallelly, the gateway issue stores the next 8 bytes uh, to the buffer and then sends it over the CAN channel 2 so that the receiver issue can receive the complete 16 bytes of data. This is called gatewaying on the fly since the gateway issue doesn't wait to get the whole message to transfer it over another channel. Please do like the video, comment if you have any questions, share it to someone whom it would help and also subscribe for more such videos. Thank you all and I will see you in a next video with some other topic on Autosar.